How do you pull a backflip and then launch it into a Superman? Well, today on AYL, we're not only showing you how it's done, but the new sport that is taking it around the world. I'm Stephen Human. Today, join the newest members of the AYL family, the Taylors, as they show off the newest trail system in the West. Then come with me as I hammer out the details in one musically inclined ATV area. Darren Kinder takes out the new Maverick, and finally, Terry Wood goes to Mexico for the biggest freestyle event in the world. Own the outdoors right now with AYL. Jennifer Taylor. We're here today with our family. We have our two daughters, Addie and Izzy, and then our son, Cooper, and also our in-laws are here today with us, Robert and Nancy Taylor. Today we're in Price, Utah, and we're here for the grand opening of the Castle Country Trail System. There's over 250 miles of trails out here for UTVs, ATVs, Jeeps, and dirt bikes. Well, let's not talk about it. Let's go ride. We're super excited to be here today because we've been working for years as groups, as individuals, as officials of the cities to designate these trails so that we can actually refer the rides to tourists and locals alike. There's so many amazing things to see on the trails here. You see everything from coke ovens, bighorn sheep, uh, swinging ore cars across the canyon, waterfalls, train trestles, a lot of things that people haven't seen before. Carver County is situated in a, in a beautiful spot where there's a forest, there's a desert, and there's a mountain range all come, come together in one spot. So we believe that the partnership between the different agents provides the citizens of this county and the state, and for the nation for that matter, a great opportunity to enjoy the public lands. Our first year we designated over 250 miles of uh, trail system in Carbon County, and that includes many loops ranging from an hour to all day or two day rides. Eventually we're going to designate other trails, which will take you up and over to Schofield and into Sanpete County, down to the beautiful San Rafael Swell, which I know a lot of people really enjoy as well. Today we're actually going on three particular rides that are our favorites and then tomorrow we're going on a really long intermediate ride which is about eight hours long and that's on the east side of town. Today we've got the western ride, the north spring shooting range ride and also the historic ride. They're over 50 inches so anybody can ride them. You see waterfalls, the Gordon Creek Falls and probably some wildlife as well, but it's a really easy, family-friendly ride. And if you stop at the Office of Tourism, we have those cash cards for lunch, so it makes a great, fun family trip, even if it's just for a day. It's a great day to be in Carbon County today. Man, I don't know about you, but I've had a great day today. This has been a great time. So what do you think was your favorite? You know, I think around every corner I've seen something different. You know, I've seen old mining history, train history, I mean, I've never seen any of this stuff before and I never knew this place existed or that Price had this many neat Jeep trails. Exactly. This train trestle right here is probably my favorite. The kids, in fact, have started calling it the Utah's Eiffel Tower just because of all the cool steel beams that it has. So this has been a lot of fun. Yeah, you're absolutely <laughs> right. Well, we're going to go explore some more. There's so many neat things here. And for you guys, you guys are off to our next travel adventure. Thanks, Jason and Jennifer. Now, while you guys are riding outside of Price, Utah, I am quite a bit farther north. I'm about to head into the Montana mountains. Now, this is an area with a lot of trails and quite a few mysteries, one of which I heard about a few years ago, and I'm going in search of today. And I brought a special tool along with me. Now, why would I need a hammer on an ATV trip? Well, if I'm going to play music, I'm going to need it. Don't worry. It's all going to make sense. Let's hit the trail. About 15 miles east of Butte, Montana on Interstate 90, the mountain trails open up an environment with a strange dichotomy. It equally balances desert and alpine into one unique venue of greens and yellows. The colors here are very interesting, right down to the streams that seem to run almost orange because of the rocks at their beds. For the uninitiated, every turn invites a question, and out here the answers are sometimes difficult to find. The mysteries run deep, but so does the drive to explore. That 
is Montana. And today I'm getting the perfect glimpse into big sky riding. Today we rode uh, Pipestone. It's off of I-90 and I-15, halfway between uh, Bozeman and Butte, Montana. Pretty cool uh, trail area to go ride. A little bit of everything. I mean, there's tree riding, there's, there's flat trails, there's woods riding, a little, little bit of everything. All, all different levels of riding are available here. There's not a lot of people that ride here, so it's kind of your own world when you're out here. Go have fun. Here you can take anything that's 50 inches or narrower. So our Wildcat uh, side-by-sides like you're riding today, or ATVs, they all fit the, the trail requirements and go do your thing. The trail today has been uh, actually pretty good. It's a little wet in areas where we didn't get too much dust, but then other areas it was pretty dusty and loose. Everyone else was on four-wheelers and, and side-by-sides, and I was on my dirt bike. If you go with a group of dirt bikers, you don't really slow down ever, so it's a little nicer going with four-wheelers, and you can kind of enjoy the area. And there is a lot to enjoy out here. I've hooked up with Ryan Solis from Arctic Cat today, and he knows his way around these hills and what machines we'll need to make the trip. It was helpful because you always want to know what you're getting into before you hit the trail. These are all narrow routes, so larger side-by-sides had to be left behind. We climbed into the Wildcat and disappeared into the trees. Montana is a very friendly locale for off-road enthusiasts. Trails proliferate the backcountry and allow explorers to find places that few others have ever visited. This is really apparent when you see trails that get so little use that you feel like you're trailblazing in places. Definitely an excellent experience. Plus, everything feels undiscovered, and the mysteries compile one on top of another. Case in point, these are rocks, just rocks. Under normal circumstances, you wouldn't give them a second glance, but once you've played their tune, you realize you're in a very special setting where everything has come together just right to make nature ring through the trees. This is Ringing Rocks, one of the great mysteries of Montana. They make a bell type of a ringing noise, and if you remove the rocks from that area, that noise doesn't happen. So it's, it's pretty unique. It was cool. I'd never been there. That's pretty, uh, something I would have never guessed. No one knows why the rocks ring here and only here. Is it their composition, proximity to one another? It's an enigma of nature, but one that brings a smile to your face. The riding today has been eye-opening in its uniqueness. It is in every ride where you find yourself amazed by almost every detail of the experience, but that is what Montana is all about. You may find ringing rocks or some other fantastic secret in these lonely hills, but all of them will come with an invitation to come back and explore mysterious Montana. All is welcome. Bring dirt bikes, side-by-sides, four-wheelers, getting out and being able just to spend the, the day out, just a beautiful day, and, and uh, getting that adrenaline rush. Uh, I think it kind of keeps me young and limber and uh, keeps me moving. Just getting outside with everybody, you know, meeting nice new people and seeing the sights and getting back with nature. Come check it out. Just make sure you leave it as nice as you found it when you're here. And that should be our goal after every ride. Now, if you want to come out here to the Pipestone area and Ringing Rocks, it's really easy to find. Just take exit 241 off of I-90 and the trailhead is right there. Follow the signs. Where we went today was actually the easiest section of Ringing Rocks to find. Now, this area, as you can see, is beautiful. There's tons of trails and lots of mysteries. You just need to remember to bring your hammer. For At Your Leisure, I'm Stephen Human. We need to take a commercial break. When we come back, our product review. The Wildcat. More fun than the usual midlife crisis. The 2015 Wildcat. Wildcat Trail and introducing the Wildcat Sport. Nothing's as wild. A mountainside trail. A day of speed that pushes your limits. A desert oasis that opens your horizons. A land of horsepower for every taste. Tooele County is all of them in one. It's time to experience a new adventure you never knew you were missing. It's time to find out what's just over the mountain. Tooele County, Utah. The Wasatch Front is your home. Tooele is your backyard. 
Polaris is riding into summer with unprecedented savings across the world's best off-road lineup. Save $800 or more on 12 models, including $1,400 off the best-selling Ranger XP900, $1,000 off a revolutionary Polaris Ace, $900 off a legendary Sportsman 570, $800 off the high-performance Razor XP1000, and get financing as low as 1.99% on everything. People might tell you it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's really only 30 miles back. You go through the day-to-day -day repeating what you did yesterday. Don't you wish you could access that piece of your life that's missing? Find the beauty, serenity, family fun, or anything else that's missing from your life in the Cedar City Bryan Head area. Gain access to your adventure, whether it's camping, hiking, the arts, festivals, or just a getaway. Visit CedarCityAYL.com for details on all the adventures that you can access in scenic southern Utah. Today. Hi, I'm Darren Kinder and welcome to our product review. It's the new Can-Am Maverick XDS and this is a turbocharged, bad to the bones four-wheeler. So come on, let's take it for a spin. And I mean spin. Now this new Maverick X has got a 1,000 cc motor coupled with a turbocharger and that puts out 121 horsepower. They've also changed the drive system on it to, to pick up a little bit sooner so that you don't get near the lag in the drive system or the turbocharger. So this machine is, is a lot of fun obviously when you're out here in the sand in the desert, but it also makes a good rock crawler because they put dynamic steering on that, which means you can set it up to high, medium, or low. So if you're out in the desert and you're flying along, you don't need a lot of power steering, but when you're doing some rock crawling all day, it sure is nice to have that extra power steering. Now here in the back, you'll notice, they've actually extended out the whole rear end of this machine. It's actually a little bit longer than the standard Maverick. And they've changed some of the angles and stuff on these double A arms. And right here, you'll see is a little scraper for the inside of the wheel. So if you get down in some muddy areas, and it starts building up inside those rims. That'll actually keep it a little bit cleaner so it doesn't mess up your brakes. And it's also hooked to a torsion bar that goes all the way across, which can be disconnected if you want to do you know, some rock crawling and whatnot. And also you'll notice back here is it's got two and a half inch piggyback shocks with over 15 inches of travel on these things. And you can fully adjust them, of course, so that you can get just the right amount of dampening depending on what kind of driving you're doing. If you're, again, if you're going crazy out in the desert or you want to do some rock crawling down in uh, Cedar City. Now the other neat thing that they've done on this machine is put this great big Donaldson air filter on there. So even if you get a lot of muck in there, it's still gonna keep it fairly clean and not mess up your performance. Now the one thing that I've always kind of worried about these machines is how open it is back here, but there's all kinds of different attachments that you can put back here. They have like a tray that goes in here, or you can get you know, a hard box or a soft box. So there's a lot of different options to get it just the way you want it. Now one of the things that I've always loved about Can-Ams is all the little buttons and switches they have on these things. There's a lot of cool electronics on them. For instance, like these keys. One of the keys actually does 20% less horsepower. So if you've got somebody that you're gonna lend your machine to or let them drive it, sometimes you can put the other key in it so they can't go quite as fast. The other unique thing that they have is they have a sport mode and an economy mode. So say you're starting to look at your gas gauge and you're going, I don't know if I'm going to make it back. Switch it to that economy mode and you're going to get a lot better gas mileage. You may not have as much power, but you'll get back to the gas station, which is always important. And then what I touched on before is how you can change the power steering. So it's very easy. You just have a button right here on the dash. You press it in, it shows up on your gauge there and tells you exactly what setting your horsepower is on. And of course you have your four wheel drive button. And then the button I always have a hard time getting used to because I'm old school and that's this crazy start button. So. But anyway, it, it has a lot of nice features. One of the things is, is these seats are very plush and comfortable, but the other cool thing is, is they can come out and you can set them on the sand like they're lawn chairs. So they're really versatile that way. Now this even has a hood that Batman would be jealous of with the carbon graphite and the big swooshes on it. It's, a, it's kind of fun looking. But if you want to check one of these out, get up to Wellers and Camas 
and they'll show you all the product line that Can-Am has to offer, plus they have all the other machines as well. Well, I'm Darren Kinder. We'll see you next time. There are certain types of people out there who put everything to the test. For them, we built the Can-Am Maverick XDS with the first factory installed turbo. It delivers 121 horsepower, impressive suspension travel, and exclusive Fox shocks. It's engineered to ace any test, including yours. Can-Am, the ride says it all. Beautiful scene, isn't it? The great wide spaces of the wild, wild west. Hi, I'm Chad Booth, host of At Your Leisure. I'm asking you to support the Blue Ribbon Coalition. Their efforts responsibly preserve access to our public lands. If it were not for the Blue Ribbon Coalition and their efforts, you may not have access to millions of acres of land across the west. This is America's playground, and if we don't do anything, we are going to lose it. Join, participate, and donate. Welcome back to Actor Leisure. We've had a great day of checking out the trails around here. And now we're here for the motorcycle track. Yeah, let's go check out and see some of the improvements they've made. Yeah. This track is unique. I don't know of another track like this anywhere in the state or possibly not the Intermountain West and that is a, it's an open, free motocross track. Our county officials have, have decided to leave this track free and open to the public. Uh, and I don't know of any place else that you can just show up on a Wednesday afternoon and ride a dirt works track. Got a new track layout. We got a sweet drop off over there. And I mean, track's just amazing. Dirt's great, ruts up great. Our track was in need of a rebuild here in Price. And so we brought in Dirt Works USA, the premier track builder in the country. They build all of the AMA Supercross tracks. We were real lucky to be able to get them to come here. They finished up with the Las Vegas Supercross uh, on a Monday night, came here the next day and built us a, a really cool new track. To expect a, a pretty well-built track with challenging obstacles and that's what they've given us. Uh, it's a good track for pros as well as for little kids to race on. Oh, they changed a lot. They've added a bunch of new jumps that are super fun to hit. They've added a couple new whoop sections. It's, it's awesome. We travel all over the country just to ride the best tracks around, you know? So you got a good track and great people running it, you know, you got to show up. I've had people tell me it's the coolest track they've ever ridden. And that might be just a guy excited because he just won his race, but I've had super good comments of the track all day long. Uh, we were able to put out a good track prep with the help of the Carbon County crew. We've had a good track to race on all day. Uh, it's just been a really cool event. You know, this is absolutely amazing. This is a world-class motocross track in Price, Utah. Yeah, this is fun. This is fun to bring the kids and experience this right here. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, this is, this is great. Anyway, now let's go off to our trailhead adventure. A few weeks ago, this stadium in the heart of Mexico City played host to one of the oldest sports in the world, bullfighting. But now today, a hundred tons of dirt has been brought in by the truckload and it will be the venue for one of the newest sports. This is Freestyle Motocross, an exhibition where stunts of the most extreme variety grab the attention of crowds all over the world. What started out as riders performing backflips on their dirt bikes, which was a trick deemed impossible until 1991, has now evolved to feature some of the most impressive feats of skill imaginable. Events like this one, sponsored by Red Bull, 
cockpit riders, known as the X-Fighters, against each other, head to head. Every trick is performed in front of thousands of spectators while judges grade every move to determine who will stand on the podium. The rules and regulations for the 2015 Red Bull X Riders World Tour are actually pretty simple. We take the 12 top freestyle riders in the world and they first have to go through a qualification round where they each get to ride twice. And they have to impress our five judges which are judging each one of five categories. Category one is variety. Category two, execution. Category three is style. Category four is use of course. And category five is what we call the three E's, energy, excitement, and entertainment. You need to win three out of five to advance to the round of four, the semifinals. Again, head-to-head -head competition where only two go through to the final and only one will become a Red Bull X Fighters champion. Clint's got one more. Come on, buddy. Put some flip levers down. He's got just the rock solid. Rock solid. Finish things off. Wow. wow. Before arriving at events like the X Fighters, racers trained for years to perfect their dangerous stunts. Most competitors started out as standard motocross riders and eventually used their skills on the track to segue into freestyle events. Riders come from almost every country imaginable, representing their nations with every jump. Safety gear is very similar to what's worn in motocross, as are the bikes. But where speed is the driving force in the races, style is what you're after in the arena. But the thrill and adrenaline rush are the same either way. When you jump, you, you hurt the crowd, so it's so exciting. Just to be here and be part of all this with the best riders in the world is it's a privilege. Getting carted around with all the guys and, and looking at the crowd and waving to everyone and, and, and seeing all the sparkle stuff come down, it's just like, man, this, this is finally my dream. I finally did it. It's a reality now. The Mexico City event was the first of the 2015 season with four more scheduled through the summer and fall. Each competition will take place in a different country. That includes Spain, Greece, and South Africa, and even the United Arab Emirates. For riders looking to break into the Red Bull X-Fighter world, smaller freestyle competitions are held across the country, acting as qualifiers for these multinational games. The Mexico City season opener was the perfect venue to start out 2015, though, with riders feeling the link with those fighters of the past. I guess it's so special here because it's like the, the atmosphere, the bullfighting ring, the fans are so into it, everyone's right over the top of you and you know back in time it was the bullfighting, well now it's the freestyle motocross battling it out and it's just such a crazy experience and obviously the Mexican fans just love it, they can't get enough so that's why we're here for the 10th time. And these ex-fighters are judged on the same showmanship as their bullfighting brothers. From the Extreme Trail End, I'm Terry Wood. United States Army, Mormon Pioneers, Stagecoach Travelers, and the Pony Express all met at Camp Floyd Museum, this week's featured Utah State Park. Camp Floyd was constructed in 1858 to suppress the supposed Mormon Rebellion. Once it was clear no rebellion would take place, the outpost grew until at one time it was the largest military installation in the country. Today, Camp Floyd State Park Museum features three original structures and the Pioneer Cemetery. The museum building itself was once the commissary for the camp and one of the first structures completed. Camp Floyd is a perfect day-use facility just west of Eagle Mountain on Highway 73. Utah State Parks, adventures for everyone. Ray City RV wants your family to experience the outdoors together, and it's never been easier than right now with our spring clearance sale. All of our 2014 models are at the best prices ever, so we can make room for the 2015s. Get into this 2014 Rockwood Tent Trailer 1970 model with event pricing of only $84.99. This is perfect for the introductory unit for a young family. The lowest prices you'll ever see. Ray City RV spring clearance sale on Rockwood Tent Trailers and more. Ray City RV, serving Utah since 1946. 
Polaris is riding into summer with unprecedented savings across the world's best off-road lineup. Save $800 or more on 12 models, including $1,400 off the best-selling Ranger XP900, $1,000 off a revolutionary Polaris Ace, $900 off a legendary Sportsman 570, $800 off the high-performance Razor XP1000, and get financing as low as 1.99% on everything. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're here today in Price, Utah at their Castle Country Trail Grand Opening, and we're here at their fairgrounds. You know, this is a great location. You can reach about any trail from this one place. You know, plus you got a motocross track behind us, and man, they have it all right here. Yeah, we have enjoyed ourselves today. Now let's check out our calendar of events and our AYL sticker winner. Thanks, Jennifer. Rhea Rossi Booth here, and I have all of the fun dates you need to put on your calendar. First off, if you're looking for a fun family activity this week, you can enjoy the City of Fun Carnival in Roosevelt, right on Highway 40. It will be held every evening from 5 to 11.30 on Wednesday, May 27th through Saturday the 30th. This will be a great event with rides and activities for the kids. You can find out more at cityoffuncarnival.com. Then for you street bikers out there, coming up in just a couple weeks is the Rocky Mountain Freedom Rally, June 12th and 13th in Craig, Colorado. This is one of the most enjoyable motorcycle events in the country because it's not about the party or anything like that. It's about the ride and hitting those winding open roads of Colorado. Everyone is invited no matter what type of bike you ride. You can find out more about this event at WasatchVictoryRiders.com. Remember, that's June 12th and 13th. Finally, Friday, June 26th and Saturday, June 27th, is the JUAB Extreme Racing Event at the Fairgrounds in Nephi, Utah. This is a great venue for motocross riders and will throw you a few curves on the track. You can register for 20 bucks and you can find out more details at JUABExtremeRacing.com. Now, on to our AYL giveaway winner. This week, we gave away tickets to the stunt run where you had to go through obstacles like these. It's a great event, and our winner was TJ Belt. He got on Facebook, and he signed up and was our winner. Become a fan of AYL on Facebook, because we always have tons of fun giveaways every week. Now it's time to take a look at what's coming up on our next episode of At Your Leisure. Well, Rhea, next week, you and Chad will be learning the ins and outs of extreme rock crawling at one event where the boulders are man-made and the competition is down and dirty. From there, Reese Stein will take us into the California desert to find out what outdoor adventures you can find in a resort town like Palm Springs. What he discovers may surprise you. Well, next week's show sure looks great. We're here with Chili. We'd like to tell her thank you for all that she did for us today and taking us out on such a great adventure. And she has a great offer for us, too. We do. On behalf of the Office of Tourism, we have this $5 cash card that's good at restaurants and gas stations for out-of-towners. All you have to do is stop by here at our brand new offices on 700 East and 100 North in Price. Write your zip code on the back and we will give you these $5 cash cards for everyone in your group to use in town while you're having a great time here. So we'd like to welcome you to Carbon County and to come ride our trails and enjoy all that we have to offer. The most important thing is when you come in, tell them that At Your Leisure sent you. You know, we'd like to thank you again, and we had a great time in this great county. And one thing we'd like to remind everybody to do is to get out and enjoy the great outdoors with your family and friends at Your, your leisure. leisure. Thanks, Jason and Jennifer. I'm Stephen Hume. Now, this is an area with a lot of trails and Darren Kinder. All right, there are people watching you. Hi, I'm Chad Booth from At Your Leisure. I hope you just enjoyed the YouTube video that you just watched. Now, Remember, we come up with new videos like this every single week, so you might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a single story that we have out. Now, you can also share us with all of your friends on social media. Here's how to do it right here, and that way they can have fun too. If you want detailed information, we of course have our website, AYLTV.com, and from there you can find out which television stations we broadcast on so you never have to spend a day without your fix of family-oriented outdoor recreation adventure. Plus, don't forget we have really cool contests.